working on. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> Having trouble? Allow me. I'm a puzzle expert. Now let me see. Hmm. It goes there. Oh, right. I knew that. <laughs> hmm. And now for the last piece. Where, Where is it? it? We've got to have that piece so we can see what's in that spot. Hmm. Uh, it's missing. I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Missing? Missing? It can't be. How will we find out what goes there? Ah! We need to find a missing puzzle piece. Hmm. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. Us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a missing puzzle piece. Sounds like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Hmm. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Yeah. 
I think we've got to put all these pieces in the right spots or someone else will be sent back to the start. Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your mission? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. 
Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the Puzzle Piece Prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, Emma? Mine's a beautiful sport horse. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Race! Horse! Coming! Woo! <laughs> hey, where's TK? Over here, Rob. Um, what's your horse? It's a unicorn. A what? A unicorn. It's a magical horse with a long pointed horn on its head. But that's different. You need to pick a real horse. But I like unicorns. And besides, I've never ridden a real horse. They kind of scare me. Well, maybe horses scare you because you haven't learned to ride one. You should give it a try. Yes, and riding a real horse is way better than riding a make-believe one. That's a great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to find a place where TK can ride a horse. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. The pet planet? We want to ride horses, not hamsters. The merry-go-round planet? Hmm, merry-go-rounds have horses, but they only go in circles. Hey, this looks like the perfect place. <laughs> yes, the horse planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Are called. They're super fast. 
You know, unicorns are pretty fast, too. <laughs> You're never going to find a make-believe horse, TK. But you can ride one of these right now. Are you going to ride one, Orbit? I think so. I just need to find the right time to... <gasps> Yay! Go Orbit! That's the spirit? <laughs> this is the best horse ever! <gasps> Whoa! give it a try. Hold on! I want you to try a sport horse first. You might like it better. And I want to show you my Bronco. We'll come back and try this one later. Huh? This is it! This is for equestrians. I thought you liked sport horses. Silly. Equestrian horses are sport horses. See? They jump over those hurdles. If they knock any down, they lose points. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Galloping galaxies! I've got to try this! <laughs> yeah! <Whee>! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> ha! Emma, that was great! Wow! Equestrian horses jump almost as high as unicorns. <laughs> oh, TK, why don't you try my equestrian horse? We can go jump together. It'd be so much fun. Hey, wait a minute. She hasn't seen a Bronco yet. What fun is a wild horse? All they do is buck. That's half the fun. Come on, I'll show you. choice just because it was different than ours. It's okay. I forgive you. Turns out I really like riding horses, and I think everyone's favorites were great, too. Can we go back and try them all? 
That's a great idea. And I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> but we're skipping the wild bronco, right? Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? never ridden a horse before, so we went to the horse planet to help her find the perfect choice. TK's favorite horse was a unicorn, but we didn't believe they were real, so we tried showing her each of our own favorite horses. Orbit showed us a thoroughbred race horse. He was super fast. And Emma found her equestrian horse. It was a great jumper, but I thought there was an even better horse for TK to try. That's when we found my favorite horse, a wild bronco, but he was a little too wild. If it wasn't for TK and her unicorn, I would have been in big trouble. We learned that we all like different things, but being different is okay, as long as you're having fun. Well done, TK. Unicorns are my favorite too. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, You're just in time. I only need one more badge for my hat. The only one I'm missing is my Galaxy Beaver Scout Spelunking badge. Spelunking? <laughs> Spelunking. It's another name for cave exploring, Orbit. You're great at exploring, Rob. Getting your badge should be easy peasy. I hope so, TK. I really want to add it to my... Hey! Where did my hat go? <gasps> you guys didn't take it, did you? <laughs> uh, you may be great at exploring the galaxy, Rob, but you'll need to work on your finding <clears throat> skills if you're gonna be a good spelunker. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes when I get really excited, I forget where I put things. Maybe getting my spelunking badge is going to be harder than I thought. You just need to work on staying calm and not jumping to conclusions. Maybe some hands-on cave exploring practice would help. Yeah! That's a great idea, TK! And that sounds like we have a mission! And you yeah! know what that means! Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where I can practice my spelunking skills. Oh, I love cave exploring. Let's see where you can go. The winter planet? We want to investigate caves, not igloos. Hmm, the basketball planet? Fun for slam dunking, yeah. but not... Spelunking. <laughs> yeah! The cave planet! Yeah! Perfect! Yes, the cave planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Hmm. It says 
was, a good spelunker should always bring along a compass. No problemo. Now we'll always know which direction we're heading. <gasps> Did you hear that? It sounded like a flying cave frog. Uh, frogs can't fly, Orbit. And there's certainly nothing to be afraid of. Clearly you've never met a cave frog before. They eat your crayons! <laughs> That's just silly. Don't worry, Orbit. I won't let anything happen to your crayons. Come on, let's explore. Oh, that sounds like a hungry cave frog. He's drooling for my crayon. <laughs> Calm down, Orbit. We can't just jump to conclusions, remember? We need to check out all the possibilities first. That's a good tip, TK. Tip, that's it. It's water dripping from the tip of that stalactite. Stalactites are a type of stone that forms from dripping water. See, I told you it wasn't a... Uh... Ah! <gasps> Came from... Oh! Ah! Ah! A minute. Why are we running? Frogs aren't scary. Ah! Orbit, slow down. Yeah. Hey, where did Amon TK go? Look, it's TK's compass. You don't think the cave frog got them, do you? <laughs> no, Orbit. Emma and TK are as safe as your. Uh -oh. Huh? Where did your crayons go? The cave frog! Ah oh, phew. phew. I think we lost the cave frog. Uh, uh oh. And my compass. <gasps> and where are Rob and Orbit? Shouldn't we go back and look for them? I don't know, TK. What if we get lost too? Hmm. Maybe there's a way to help them find us. Yeah! Listen, it sounds like something flying. Uh, like a flying cave frog. I hate it when I'm right. Huh? Uh, I can't see it. Can you? No, but I'm not trying very hard. Hmm. Hmm. What lives in a cave and can fly? Uh, a duck? Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's just a cute little bat. Um, have you seen our friends, Mr. Bat? We're trying to figure out which direction they went. Uh, maybe he needs a compass. <gasps> huh? Uh... Hey, where did huh? the... <gasps> that cave frog stole our compass! Come on, Orbit, enough is enough! Let's go find this frog! <laughs> there he is! Hey, Mr. Cave Frog! What did you do with our friends? And my crayons! Hmm. Hmm. Uh, please, Mr. Cave Frog, can you show us where they are? We need to find them so we can go back to the rocket. <gasps> uh, I think it's the other way, Rob. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> oh, wait, are you sure? Am I sure? No, I'm Orbit. I'm never sure. How will we find our way out of here without a compass? We're doomed. Take it easy, Orbit. We just need to stay calm and retrace our steps. Hmm. Huh? Now what's he doing? Hmm. Maybe he wants us to follow. Hey! That's the bad noise again. We're heading in the right direction. Remember that sound? 
the dripping stalactites. I can see the way out. But what about Emma and TK? We still haven't seen them. Rob, uh, or oh. Ben. I can't see them, but I sure can hear them. <laughs> this way. about you both. We're okay. We just got a little carried away. Mm -hmm. You know what happens when I get excited. Yeah, you lose your hat and your friends. Mm. <laughs> Wait! Sometimes when I get excited, I misplace things. <gasps> oh, the cave frog didn't take our things. I must have tossed them in my backpack when we were running around. Oh, I'll never earn my Spelunker's badge. I'm terrible at cave exploring. How can you say that? You showed us all of these amazing things. And you stayed calm and found your way back out of the cave without even a compass. Congratulations, Rob. You've earned your Galaxy Beaver Scout Spelunking badge. Woohoo! Thanks, everyone. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, I wanted to work on my spelunking skills, so we headed to the cave planet to practice. Sometimes when you're exploring a new place, it's easy to get overexcited and let your imagination get the better of you. It can cause you to misplace things or even lose your way. But if you stay calm and don't jump to conclusions, you'll often find that exploring new places isn't scary at all. Great job, Rob. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, Everyone, you're just in time. Emma's teaching us a new song. songs to learn. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Great, Rob. Now let's try a new... John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Uh -oh. John is my name too. Rob, why do you keep doing that? I don't know. It just keeps popping out. John Jacob Something's wrong. I better take a look with my robot reader. Whenever we go out, Oh no! That song is stuck in Rob's robot memory bank. We need to fix you, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. Whenever we go out, and you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I have a tune stuck in my head, and we need to find a place where we can unstick it. It sounds like you need a tune-up. Let's see where you can go. The wind-up planet? I think that song has Rob wound up enough. Mm -hmm. The sandwich planet? We need to fix Rob's memory, not fix his sandwich. Yes, the repair planet. 
Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the repair planet. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <gasps> His name is Morning Dew. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, they say, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Oh, la, 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 la. the problem, I can fix him. One, two, three! <gasps> well, say something, Rob. Hooray! I'm not singing! Thanks, TK. But just to be sure, let's delete that song from my memory bank. I don't know if that's a good idea. I need that song out of my head for good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, how do you feel? I feel great! And is the song gone? What song? <laughs> Hooray! Rob is fixed! Rob is fixed! Yeah. Rob is fixed! Rob is fixed! Rob is fixed! So, who's Rob? <gasps> and who are you guys? One, Rob, hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> this Rob sounds like a funny guy. Where is he? I'd like to meet him. <gasps> oh no! Huh? I think Rob erased his whole memory. Who erased his memory? Who's Rob? Uh oh. You remember me though, right? I'm Norbit. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Norbit. Not Norbit, Orbit. <laughs> He's funny. I like Norbit. Norbit! Ah! Phew, that's lucky. Rob's memories are still there, but for some reason, he can't remember anything. Oh, no. Poor Rob. Yeah, poor Rob. We should go help him. Come on! Ah! Rob! Hey, Rob! yoo -hoo! Cheers! We need to fix him! Don't worry, Orbit. We will. Every robot repair manual in the galaxy is stored in this library. So will I look for the one we need to fix Rob? Hey, ah! did you know there's a big rocket ship parked out here? Cool! <sighs> you two try to find a way to jog Rob's memory. If he can remember just one thing, it might bring his memory back. Okay, come on, Emma. Let's go introduce Rob. Rob? Huh? <laughs> hey, buddy, what you doing? I'm still trying to find your friend Rob, but I can't see him. Ah! <sighs> what are you doing? This is no time to watch a TV show. Yes, it is. This is a video of all the fun things we've done together. Hmm. <laughs> Guess what? We found Rob. He's right up there. Really? He is? Hi, everyone. I'm Rob. <laughs> Here we go.
remember anything? Huh? Who are we talking about again? Ah, no, 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 no! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well. At least his rocket boots still work. Rocket boots? I've got rocket boots? You mean I can fly? <laughs> Uh-oh. You know what? I can't remember how to fly. <gasps> oh, no. What a mess. We'll never find Rob's repair manual now. Don't say that. We have to find it. We need to fix Rob. I can see you guys are busy, so I'll just head back home. Even though I can't remember where I live. I'll see ya. Oh no, he's leaving. It's no use. The Rob we knew is gone. His singing wasn't that bad. I'd do anything to have the old Rob back, silly singing and all. John Jingle, 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 Jingle and his name is my name, too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, they say, John Jingle Jingle High Jingle! Hey, I remember that song. You do? Do you remember me? How could I forget you, Orbit, and Emma, and TK? I remember everything! Rob's back! Woohoo! And if Rob wants to sing, let him sing! We'll even join you! <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, there is one thing I'd like to sing about, and that's another. Hmm, another. Um. Uh, another big mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, after flying to the repair planet and trying to get that song out of my head, I accidentally erased my memory. TK Orbit and Emma tried hard to fix me. They felt bad when nothing worked until their singing finally jogged my memory back. Memory is being able to remember things, like places you visited or fun times with your friends. Without those memories, we just wouldn't be the same. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, You're just in time. It's Cosmic Day, the day where everyone from all over the cosmos celebrates friendship. Oh, oh, it's my turn, it's my turn! <laughs> <laughs> Emma's cousin Mia sent us presents. Orbit hasn't opened his yet. Come on! I bet you it's a ping pong table. No, a circus monkey! <gasps> a giant robot ninja! Maybe it's the world's smallest ping pong playing ninja monkey. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Ooh, that's an ice hockey puck. Oh, but how am I supposed to play with this? There's no ice on the rocket ship. Uh. Hmm, Orbit has a point. I don't have a place to play with my snowboard, either. Wait a minute! All of these gifts are things you play with in the snow. What a perfect way to spend Cosmic Day together. That sounds like a mission. <laughs> it sure does. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Oh, 
Hello, everyone. Wait, what day is it? Did I miss Cosmic Day? No, it's today. And we want to find a place where we can celebrate it by playing together in the snow. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Huh, ice cream planet? Close, but the only snow we'd find there would be in snow cones. A magic planet. Hmm, Cosmic Day is magical, but not cold enough for snow or ice. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. <laughs> yes, the winter planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Someone else might send us more presents. <laughs> oh, look at this. Huh? What's so great about an old sled? Ha <laughs> ha, let me show you. Huh? <laughs> um... Hold on to your gears. come from? Maybe it was the abominable snowman. <laughs> What's abominable mean? <laughs> abominable means very unpleasant. <gasps> oh, Orbit, I'm kidding. There's no such thing as an abominable snowman. <laughs> come on, let's play snowball tag. Everybody run! <laughs>
the best snowman ever. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this pond is the perfect place to play with your pup. Come on! <laughs> You broke my sled, then took all of my favorite snowballs. I was just trying to get them back. Oh, we're... Oh, we're sorry, Mr. Snowman. Fred. My name is Fred. Is there some way we can make it up to you, Fred? Hmm. Hey, maybe you'd like to play hockey with us. It's an awesome game to play with friends. Have my snowboard. I'm sorry for breaking your sled. And you can have my abominable snowman. He'll help keep you company. Oh, oh! You can have my hat to help keep you warm. And if you wouldn't mind holding on to my puck, it's my new favorite toy. But you can play with it until we come back. Thank you all so much. And thank you for making this the best cosmic day ever. I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> and Mia sent us presents for Cosmic Day. They were all meant for playing within the snow. So we went to the winter planet to have some holiday fun. Orbit wasn't very happy with his gift, so we tried to show him that you can still have fun without fancy presents. But things didn't start off so well, and Orbit wasn't convinced. Not until we met a lonely snowman named Fred. And even better, he helped us to remember what Cosmic Day was all about, celebrating friendship. A happy cosmic day for everyone. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fred. Goodbye, Winter Planet. Just in time. Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? 
I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh no, that would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play, either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theatre planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk! Of course! I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big arm! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit! Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dopes! There's at least a hundred space trolls out there! But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit! Quick! Saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going on the concert. Those troll dudes are here for my show. Yow! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm Jungle Explorer Emma. I 
I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if jungle explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. <laughs> no, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. Go! Isn't this imagination day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on the play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Me too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, no! Yikes. Space ah. trolls! They found us! Oh, no. <gasps> we must protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit! Yes! Later, dudes! Everyone, hot tail it for the hills! Space your probably keep them busy while you folks escape. Eat pillow, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, space your Rob. Thanks, jungle explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yeah! So I'd say it's... Missing a Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater plant to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home and help buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet.
yummy, Emma? <laughs> yeah. I'm always hungry after my morning exercises. What will it be? Toast and jam, oatmeal, or my famous scrambled space eggs? Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg-tastic choice. Get ready for countdown. So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hmm. Hey ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Hmm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah. That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right, yeah! yeah. I should warn you, sometimes a simple-sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So, if you need help... We can do it! Okay, then. The eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs. Here come the great egg collector. Oh, oh no! The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens.
the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let me see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're uh oh. Ah! No, come back. Come back. <gasps> she didn't really mean it. Oh. I guess he doesn't like pink either. Yeah, now we have to collect the eggs, catch the chickens, fix the fence, and stop that crazy cow. It's a bull, Orbit. Hey, what happened to Rob? to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah. Turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. Farmer Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence. And then we got chased by a robo-bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done. What an egg-citing mission. As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. Goodbye, Farm Planet. Nine, ten. 
Oh, hi everyone. You're just in time to help me find the others. We're playing hide and seek. Come on. Ready or not, here I come. Ooh, nothing gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. <laughs> That's because you're always the first one I see, Orbit. One, two, three on TK! Huh? <sighs> this time you found me even faster than the last time we played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three on Emma! Huh? That sure didn't take long. It never does. There just aren't enough hiding places on our spaceship. Hmm. We need to find a place to play a really good game of hide and seek. Yes, that's right. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. play a really fun game of hide and seek. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. A soccer planet? Soccer's fun, but that's not what we want to play. <laughs> the clock planet. We know what time it is. Time to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good place. Yes, the hide-and-seek planet. The perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Like I said, 
Nothing gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. And this looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Nope, no one under there. Oh, I sure hope he didn't see me. Hey, who was that? Huh? Hmm. How'd this get here? <laughs> Ra, look out! The broom! One, two, three on TK! Never mind me. I just saw that broom floating in the air. <laughs> A broom can't float, TK. Well, this one did. I saw it. It was floating all by itself. <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh at me. Well, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> Ooh, I spy with my invisible eye some more fun for a visible orbit. One, two, three on me. One, two, three on whoever was tickling my feet. Well, we're all here, so it must have been Orbit. <laughs> but I don't see him. <laughs> well, I hear him. I'm over here. One, two, three on. Squeak? Oh, where's Orbit? I'm over here. I'm stuck under this. Get her off me. Don't worry, Orbit. We're coming. Not that one. I'm under this one. All right, Orbit. That's enough. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No way. We're playing hide and seek. You have to find me. Come on! I'm over here! <gasps> uh, uh. Help! I fell in a hole! I can't get out! I'm in this big hole! I'm not falling for that trick again, Orbit. But I really am here! You can see me now! That hat that made me invisible fell off! A hat that made you invisible? Now you're being way too silly. <laughs> We're going back to the ship! Once he realizes we've stopped looking for him, he'll come back to the rocket. on the hide-and-seek planet forever. We wouldn't have left you, Orbit. But you were making so much stuff up, we didn't know when you were telling the truth. <laughs> I know you're right. I'm sorry. But even though I got myself into trouble, that was the best game of hide-and-seek ever. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? the hide-and-seek planet to find some good hiding places. But Orbit found a hat that made him invisible, 
So instead of hiding, he played tricks on us. Then Orbit fell down a hole and called us for help. We thought he was still tricking us. But when we found out that he really did need our help, we came to his rescue right away. We learned that when someone always makes things up, it's hard to know when they're telling the truth. I'd suggest that always telling the truth is the way to go. For sure. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. Just in time. Emma's gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Squeak, the box is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Squeak! 
week, but where is he? <gasps> Look! He's in that cheesecake!
So it wasn't just Squeak we were chasing, it was other mice too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five. tag, but no one can ever tag Squeak. He's just too fast. <laughs> but not this time. Stand back, everyone. I'll get him. <laughs> Are you okay, Rob? <laughs> yes. Thanks, Emma. My rocket boots zigged when they should have zagged. And my wheel's fast, but just not fast enough to catch him. And I almost had him, but I just couldn't grab him. I bet if we put our heads together, we can think up a plan to outsmart that mouse. Well, if I had a speedier wheel, I could catch him no problem. And if my rocket boots could turn better, I'd be the tag champ. And if I had some kind of magnet power, I'd have caught that metallic mouse first. Hey, we're robots, right? Maybe we could get special upgrades. You mean we could get fixed up so we could do things better? Yes, things like catching really fast mice. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place we can go to get new upgrades so we can catch Squeak. He's one motoring mouse, isn't he? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The sports planet would be a great place to go, but after we get all fixed up. <laughs> Not the stinky foot planet. No one wants to go there. <laughs> oh, now that looks like a place where we can get ourselves fixed up. Yay! Yes, that's the tune-up planet. Excellent place for robots to get upgraded. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your
Next up, the Tuna Planet. Rockin' robots! It looks like this place can turn us into super robots. We won't stand a chance. Ha ha! Wait a minute. Why do you want to change yourselves? We can find other ways to catch Squeak. I suppose we could, but this is more fun. Yeah. But. <sighs> oh, I see the upgrade I want. With those new fins, I'll be able to zig and zag at the same time. But you fly great with your boots now, Rob. I'm not sure... Look! I can get mugged arms. Those will help me round up our metal mouse. I guess that's neat. But what's wrong with the arms you have? Those are magnet arms, Emma. Ooh! Aha! A Turbo 5000 wheel. I can upgrade my wheel to one of those. But you're really fast now, TK. But this will make me even faster. But I still don't see why you're not happy with the way you are. Upgrades are a robot thing, Emma. Maybe you don't understand because you're not a robot. <sighs> well, I guess if it makes you happy, but... Don't worry, Emma. It will be fun. Let's go! Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Just push the button! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like getting upgrades tickles. Control? <laughs> I am the Magnet Man. Check him out, TK. Take a closer look. Ma uh, uh, a little too close. Maybe your new arms are too powerful, Orbit. <laughs> Are they cool or what? Yeah, they're really nice, Rob. But listen, everyone. You won't need your upgrades after all, because I think I figured out a way to catch Squeak without them. Why, Emma? Now we can outrun him, outmaneuver him, and magnetically stop him in his tiny tracks. Oh, there he is! Get that mouse! Try harder. Shouldn't we try to be smarter? What do you mean, Emma? I'm not sure that your upgrades are such a great idea. I'm afraid you're gonna end up hurting. I'm on it. Leave it to me. To yourselves. You can't outmaneuver me now. Wow! What cornering! may have damaged your fins. Well, that won't stop me from catching them this time. <laughs> Maybe it will. Don't worry, Rob. I'm on it. I'm going full speed this time. <laughs>
think I want magnet arms anymore. Orbit! I don't think any of your upgrades made you better. They just made you different. Emma's right. Even with our upgrades, we couldn't cast Squeak. I liked you all just the way you were. I guess we'll just never be able to tag Squeak. Like I was trying to say before, I think I might know a way. Would you like some cheese, Squeak? Huh? I'm glad you like it, Squeak. Oh, and by the way, you're it! <laughs> no matter how fast he is, he will always come for a bit of cheese. Okay, let's get rid of these upgrades. Then it's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could never catch Squeak when we played tag, so we went to the Tune-Up Planet to get upgrades to help us catch him. Our new upgrades made us faster and able to turn quicker and suck things up but they didn't help us catch Squeak at all. We learned that changing didn't make us better, just different. And that a good way to catch a mouse is with a nice piece of cheese. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, and we all need to look our very best. Now, where did I put the camera? Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. You found it. I don't know, TK. These ones just don't seem to fit right. Hmm. Maybe try retracting your antenna a little, like this. Robot parts. 
Oh, dress-up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. Oh. Okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Oh, wait, being a robot sure is <laughs> fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta-da! So, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's... Whoa! Awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you wait here. We'll, um... We'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes or something. Oh, boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Machinery orbit. It can be very whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> oh no! My nose is itchy. Nope. 
not loud enough. Nuh-uh, still not loud enough. What about this? A megaphone! Perfect! On the count of four, everyone. One, two, three... Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us, so we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Goodbye, Spare Park Planet! Hi, everyone. We're putting a band together to play in the Galaxy Pop Concert. <laughs> hey, Emma. What's wrong? Where's your instrument? I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? <laughs> Symbols. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop Concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo I? I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't 
worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Monkey planet. Yes! I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma. Book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet! That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. something else. for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No! No problem. Let's keep looking. <laughs> What's this thing? It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey, this looks cool. <laughs> it's a drum set. I've always wanted to try 
buy one of these? Ooh! Hey, where are the drumsticks? We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> and I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La, 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 la. That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you. I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right. Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, the intergalactic bike race and is trying out her new rocket bike. It's super fast. Okay, Emma. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> uh, Emma, you know you need to pedal to make a bike go, right? I know. Just, just a second. Emma? Do you need help with the kickstand? No! Ah! Don't touch it! This bike is too big! I'll fall! Don't be afraid, Emma. Riding a bike is easy. You just need to give it a shot and don't overthink things. You can't learn if you don't try. Hmm. 
maybe that's it. Maybe Emma needs to try something that's more her speed. Like a bike that she's more comfortable with. Yeah! And there's lots of different bikes in the robot galaxy to choose from. And finding a bike that's more my speed can't hurt. That's the spirit, Emma. And that sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can find Emma the perfect bike. I think we can give that a spin. Let's see where you can go. The cheese planet? There are lots of cheese wheels there, but you can't learn to ride on them. Ooh. Oh, race planet? Uh, I think we need to start with a place that's a little bit slower. Oh, the bike planet. That's perfect. Yes, the bike planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. trade your rocket bike in for a new one. Okay, but the big bike race is tomorrow. I won't have much time to practice on a new bike, will I? Sure you will, if you start right now. Mm. Check this out. Ooh. It's a unicycle. The uni in unicycle means one, one wheel. See? One wheel? Oh, gee, I don't know, TK. A unicycle looks kind of hard. Hard? I get around on one wheel every day. It's easy peasy. Hmm. Hmm? Just remember, Emma, don't think and keep pedaling. That's the key. Hmm. Okay, Emma, on the count of three. One, two... Are you sure this is a good idea? Uh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Pedal fast to keep your balance, Emma. Whoa! It's too high! I can't uh, reach the pedal! Ah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe using one wheel isn't for everybody. not too fast or too high. All you have to do is keep your head up and steer where you want it to go. But how do you make it go? It doesn't have any pedals. Just give it a push. Hop on, Emma. I'll show you. Entering that race. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of stopping, where are the brakes on this thing? <gasps> uh oh. Uh, don't worry, we won't need brakes if we're flying. Flying? Ah! <gasps> Yikes! 
I can't look! <gasps> huh? What happened? Rob. <sighs> but you know what? I just don't think I'm cut out for bike riding. It doesn't seem to matter if it's one wheel, two wheels, or... <gasps> Three! I've got the perfect solution! Wait here, I'll be right back. Me too! I mean, three! <laughs> hmm. It's a tricycle. The tri in tricycle means three. This bike is low to the ground, has brakes, and it has three wheels. So it can't tip over. Nice. Gee, um, it looks safe, but isn't it a bit too small? Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Much too small. Emma needs a bike with a lot more oomph, like this. <laughs> race for sure. Aw, thanks, guys. You were right. I just needed to stop overthinking everything and go for it. <laughs> and that's what I'd say is a big wheeling mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Galactic bike race, but first she needed to learn how to ride. So we went to the bike planet to find the perfect bike for her. We learned that uni means one and tri means three, but no matter how many wheels Emma had on her bike, she didn't feel comfortable riding any of them. That was until Orbit found himself in a bit of trouble. Luckily for him, Emma stopped thinking about falling down and only thought about saving her friends. Great job, Emma. And mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! for my space ball. Uh, oh. Uh. I can't find it anywhere. Ooh. 
There it is. I'll get it. <laughs> Heads up, Rob. Catch. Woohoo! Nice shot, Emma. <laughs> Remind me to never play Galaxy Golf against you. <laughs> What's Galaxy Golf? You've never played? Oh, uh, mm-mm. You have to try it. I could teach you. Oh, would you, Emma? You bet. With a little practice, you'll be great. Well, then I say that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a place where I can learn to play Galaxy Golf. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Yay! <laughs> the Scrub-a-Dub planet. That's fun. But we can't play golf with soapy hands. The trick-or-treat planet. But I don't think that will do the trick. Now that looks like the perfect place to play. <laughs> the Galaxy Golf Planet, the perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the Galaxy Gold Planet. Rockin' robots! This is gonna be fun! <laughs> oh, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Where do we start? The practice area. But I don't wanna go to the practice area. I wanna play. Since it's only your first time, you should practice swinging your club before we start. Ah, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. I'll race everyone to the first hole! <laughs> <laughs> okay, on this hole, what you have to do is use your club to hit the ball into that little cup over there. But look out for the crocodiles! Watch TK! <laughs> <sighs> oh, so close. Okay, my turn. <laughs> Oh. 
school is this? We're still on the first one. <sighs> we'll never get another turn. <laughs> Unless... Ta-da! You wanna play video games? No, it's a remote control. <laughs> With this, we can make the ball go wherever we want. I get it. We give Rob your ball, and he gets to finally make his shots. With our help. And then we get to play. Remember, <laughs> arms straight, take your time. Hold on a second, Rob. I think it's your ball. See, it has a crack in it. Here, use mine. I have an extra. Thanks, TK. I've almost got the hang of it. Watch! <laughs> Whoops! That's not good. Oh. Hey, it's moving again. Try the next hole. That was unbelievable. You're just a great teacher, Emma. The best. <laughs> oh, hmm. This looks tricky. I'd better put a little curve on it. Never mind the curve. Just concentrate. You'll get it in. Don't worry. <laughs> ha! Perfect. Stop showing off. But this is fun. Watch this. Oh. too much curve on it. It wasn't you, Rob. It was, um, uh, it was... Orbit! Me? You broke the remote control. <laughs> remote control? What remote control? Huh? This one? We used it to control Rob's ball to help him play better. It was my idea. But then we kind of broke it. But that's cheating. Rob's not going to learn how to play golf like that. I guess I wasn't thinking about everyone having to wait on me. Uh, if I had practiced up a little like Emma suggested, I wouldn't have made it so boring for everyone. I'm sorry. Well, things aren't boring anymore. We have to stop that thing. Hmm. Leave that to me. <laughs> well, it looks like I didn't teach you much about how to play galaxy golf, Rob. Sure you did. You taught me that the first thing I have to do is practice. So I'd say that's mission accomplished. Yay! Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Playing galaxy golf is harder than it looks. 
and that making your friends wait for you isn't much fun for them. And we all learned that trying to help someone dishonestly doesn't solve problems. It creates new ones. But most of all, we learned that the best way to learn something new is to practice first. Sounds like you learned a lot. Well, it's time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Galaxy Gold Planet! Hi, everyone! You're just in time to enjoy a sweet treat with us. Come on! <gasps> it's time to break out the marshmallows. Mm-mm. See where we can find more marshmallows? Yes! And that sounds like we have a mission! Yeah! You know what that means! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace to get a fresh supply of marshmallows. What a sweet idea. Let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet. Pillows are soft and white like marshmallows, but you can't eat them. <laughs> the Book Planet? Hmm. That's a nice quiet place to be mellow. But we want marshmallows. The Candy Planet. That's a great place to look for marshmallows. The Candy Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Hello. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Sweet Tooth. You can tell he loves sweets with a smile like that. Nice to meet you, Sweet Tooth. I'm Rob, and my friends and I were wondering if we could share in some of those tasty marshmallows. Wait! <laughs> I love marshmallows. <laughs> Toothache, huh? I know what you need. The Cosmic Clean Toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. If you brush your teeth for just two minutes twice a day, your teeth will stop hurting yeah. you, Sweet Tooth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Huh? Sweet Tooth, come back. We're just trying to help. Uh, oh. Hey, guys, what about our marshmallow mission? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa. There's tons of marshmallows down there. Sweet tooth! Emma, huh? Emma! I found the marshmallow mother love! <gasps> Come and check it out! Marshmallows? Marshmallows. Um, is that your stomach rumbling? No, I thought it was yours. Should try. You'll be glad you did. Honest. Yeah, that's it. Keep brushing. Mmm, minty. See? Doesn't that feel great? Ooh, I love toothbrushing. Now you have the brightest smile on Candy Planet. Jump harder, Orbit? <gasps> Not after eating all those marshmallows! Orbit and Emma are down there? Oh no! We've got to get you out of there! There's marshmallow geysers about to erupt! <sighs> Greasy gears! You're really stuck! Gear grease! Great idea, Rob! That's exactly what we need! The cave is gonna blow! Sweet tooth! Move! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you! brushed and watch those sweets, they'll stay that way. But I love sweets. 
A little bit is okay, but too many sweets in a day aren't good for you. I'll say, I don't want to look at another marshmallow. Me neither. Huh? Well, not for today anyway, but let's make sure we take some home for later. <laughs> good idea, Emma. And I'd say that's a marshmallow mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Candy Planet to get more marshmallows. And met a candy lover with bad teeth named Sweet Tooth. He needed us to teach him that too many sweets are bad and brushing your teeth is good. And after Emma and Orbit ate up all the marshmallows, they learned having too many sweets can leave you feeling pretty icky. And that sounds like the perfect ending to a successful mission. But now it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Sounds exciting. Let's see where you can go. Candy Planet? All that sugar isn't good for tea. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh, spare Part huh? Planet? Emma isn't a robot, so the Spare Part Planet won't be much help. Mm -mm. <gasps> hey, this looks like the right place. The Fairy Planet! Yay! <laughs> yes, the Fairy Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
time for a nap, Orbit. We've got a tooth fairy to find. Orbit, TK, you search that way. Emma, you come with me. Aye, aye. We're on it. <clears throat> Welcome to Pillow Place. Pillow Place? You mean this isn't the fairy planet? Of course it's the fairy planet. What do I look like to you, an elf? So you're the tooth fairy? Me? No. I'm... The Pillow Fairy. A pillow? How is a pillow gonna help me put my tooth back in? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Nobody really needs a pillow fairy these days, I guess. Uh, we do. Really? Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll bet you can help us find the Tooth Fairy. I do know this planet like the inside of a pillowcase. Great. See, Emma, we'll find the Tooth Fairy and have your tooth back in your mouth before you can say toothless. <laughs> snow isn't cold. And why does it smell so... <sighs> minty? Oh, this isn't snow. It's toothpaste. We're in toothpaste tundra. <gasps> the Tooth Fairy! Come back! That wasn't the Tooth Fairy. That was the Toothpaste Fairy. Uh, what does she do? Fills tubes with toothpaste. It's a sticky job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> toothpaste, Fairy. Huh. Let's hope Orbit and TK are having better luck. Yoo-hoo! Tooth Fairy, where are you? string doing in the forest? It isn't string, Orbit. It's dental floss, mm. the stuff you floss your teeth with. Do you know what that means? Hmm. Uh, the, the trees of teeth? <laughs> no. It means the tooth fairy must be nearby somewhere. Yeah! Hmm. 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 <gasps> oh! Excuse me, uh, Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy? Oh no, I'm Fairy Floss, the Dental Floss Fairy, at your service. Oh, our friend Emma lost a tooth and she needs help. So where can we, uh, find her? Oh, you can't find the Tooth Fairy. She'll find you. Huh? How? I'm not sure. Maybe try asking the Pillow Fairy. The Pillow Fairy? Okay, we're back in Pillow Place and still no Tooth Fairy. I don't think I'm ever gonna find the Tooth Fairy. I know it'll cheer you up. A comfy pillow. Hugging one always makes me feel better. <laughs> Huh? Hmm. Thanks, but it's no use. I'll never find a way to fix my tooth. I don't even want to look at it anymore. <sighs> Whoa! The Tooth Fairy? Wow! The Tooth Fairy! It's the Tooth Fairy! Banter! <laughs> Actually, I found you. That's how it works. You put your tooth under your pillow, and I, the Tooth Fairy, come to you to give you a surprise. Ooh, a sticker? Thanks. <gasps> but wait, where's my tooth? It fell out, and I don't know how to put it back in. Back in? Oh no, dear. There's nothing to fix. It's perfectly normal for 
young children and aliens to lose their baby teeth. Baby teeth? Yes, and soon you'll grow a new grown-up tooth in its place, one that won't ever fall out. So you'll need to take extra special care of your teeth from now on. Lots of toothbrushing and flossing. Wow, okay. Thanks, Tooth Fairy. My pleasure, dear. <sighs> I feel so much better. Baby teeth, who knew? Well, we do now. Thanks to the Tooth Fairy. She's awesome. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. What's wrong, Pillow Fairy? Oh, nothing. It's just... It's always the other fairies saving the day. I wanted to be a helpful fairy for a change. But you were the most helpful fairy of all. We found the Tooth Fairy because of the pillow you gave me. You did save the day. Oh shucks. You're making me cry. Where's the tissue fairy when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd say this is one big toothy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? upset because her tooth fell out. So we went to the fairy planet to ask the tooth fairy for her help. We met lots of fairies. The pillow fairy and the toothpaste fairy. Don't forget fairy floss. And of course, the tooth fairy. She explained that Emma doesn't need her tooth. Another bigger tooth will grow in its place. So I'm going to brush and floss my teeth and take care of them. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go out. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fairy Planet! Oh, hi everyone! You're just in time! <laughs> We're playing with our hover cars. Come on! Go car go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ouch! Something hit me. That was Rob's car, Orbit. He walked right onto the track. I did? Oops. That's weird. Are you feeling okay? What? No, I'm fine. Let's play. Uh, hmm. Orbit, the racetrack is that way. Oh, I knew that. Uh-oh, the battery for my car must have popped out when it fell. Hmm. Looks like I only have big batteries. I'm sorry, Rob. Then how can Rob finish the race? We'll have to look for a small battery someplace else. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a really small battery for my hover car. I see. A small solution for a big problem. Okay, let's see where you can go. Hmm? Super-sized planet? No, the battery's there bigger than I am. The bath planet? Hmm, we want to race cars, not rubber duckies. The miniature planet! That's it! Yeah. Every 
everything there would be really small, even the batteries. The Miniature Planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. to push the button. Hmm. Oh, maybe if we all push the button together, it would work. I could fly you all up there. That wouldn't be very safe. We should find oh. another way. Uh... No way! Guys, check it out! <laughs> now that we're small, my hover car is big! 
enough to carry us. That's true, but it won't run without a new battery. Hey, huh? maybe he can help us. Huh? huh? Hi, Mr. Robot. My friends and I are looking for a very small battery. Could you please help us? That's a toy robot, not a real one. Orbit, are you having trouble seeing things? Uh, well, no, I mean, yeah, lately things are a little blurry. Uh... Okay, a lot blurry. You should always tell someone if you're not feeling well, Orbit, and especially if you can't see properly. I know, and if I had said something sooner, none of this would have happened. I'm sorry, guys. Oh! <gasps> oh! Hey, look! A battery! And it's the perfect size for my race car. Nice job, Orbit. <laughs> yeah! Hop on the purple triangle first, then the red square. <laughs> <laughs> But it sure is nice to be back to our normal sizes again. Hmm. What are you looking for, TK? New lenses for you, Orbit. It's time to fix your blurry vision. Well, how do we look? You look great! It's nice to see you all so clearly again. Thanks, TK. Now my hover car is fixed, and so is Orbit. That sounds like a big mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? went to the miniature planet to look for a tiny battery to fit my toy hover car. But instead, we found a machine that could make big things small. Orbit was having trouble seeing, but he didn't tell anyone. He accidentally shrunk everyone when we tried to use the shrinking machine. But with Orbit's help, we also found a battery for my hover car, and it played a big role in making us big again. Orbit got a new pair of lenses and promised to always speak up when something doesn't feel right. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Mini Tier Planet. You're just in time! I found a shiny blue rock to add to my rock collection. <laughs> See? I have smooth rocks and bumpy rocks and rocks in every color. Well, every color but green. But I wonder what kind of rock this is. Do you know, Orbit? Hmm, let's see. It's blue and hard. Maybe it's a new kind of rock. Maybe my rock analyzer can help. Yeah! Oh, I know what kind of rock that is. It's called Moonstone. That's right. I used to have a bracelet made with Moonstones. You sure have a good eye for collecting rocks, Emma. Maybe we can all go rock hunting together. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet.
Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go rock hunting. Well, that sounds like you're in for a rocking good time. Okay, let's see where you can go. The castle planet? We want to collect rocks, not build a castle with them. Music planet? Hmm, no. Although it's a great place to rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the mineral planet. Rocks are made up of minerals, so that's the perfect place for our yeah! mission. Yes, the mineral planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the mineral planet. to another. See? Huh? That's where the big rocks get broken into smaller ones to see if there are any rare minerals inside. Oh, look at all the shiny rocks. Ooh. It's a rock collector's dream. <gasps> Let's get digging. It's very rare. This rock is gonna look great in my collection. <gasps> hey, wait a minute, huh? Rob. Why do you get to have it? I saw it first. Yeah, but I tripped over it, so it should be mine. No, it's mine. It's even green, like me. 
Guys, it's just a rock. No rock is worth friendship, right? But it's a special rock. And I saw it huh? first. Huh. Uh, Come on, Orbit. Maybe we'll find more rocks this way. Uh, oh, what rocks? Oh. Oh. Uh, uh oh. I'm going to dig, 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 and soon you'll see, see, see. I'll find a rock, rock, rock to share with Orbit and me. <laughs> Want to see it? It's so cool. Whoa. Whoa. TK, what's happening? This rock is teetering and tottering. Yeah. You're putting it off balance. Yeah. Stop moving, Orbit. But if I can't move, how will I get off this rock? I don't know. Oh, I'm going for help. Stay right there. Okay. Where else could I go? <sighs> Come on, Emma! Jump! Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Uh -huh. uh. Oh. oh no! It's gonna get smashed! Oh no, it's not! Jump off. How about this? Uh, our rock? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it may be special, but no rock is worth a friendship. And right now, our friend needs our help. <gasps> now, Orbit, jump! <laughs> Thanks, guys. But now your special rock is gone. That's okay. We have something even better than a special rock. We have a special orbit. Aw, and we won't go home empty-handed. See? We still have my rock. Huh. This rock doesn't have a name. <laughs> really? A special rock deserves a special name. So, what are you going to name it, Orbit? Orbitite? Orbidium? No. I hereby call this rock Friendstone. Friendstone! It's perfect! And I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? find some cool new rocks, so we went to the mineral planet to do some rock hunting. There, we found rocks in all shapes, sizes, and colors, including a rare green rock. Both Emma and I wanted to keep it, but when Orbit got into trouble, we decided no rock is more important than a friendship, because good friends are hard to find. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, 